Instead of making exports for each of your processes, then compiling these files, you can use the data export feature to get all your data compiled into a single file. If you are administrator, you can find this feature in the process editor. You need to click here and select Data Export. Click on the plus to generate a new export. Then choose the CSV option. The CSV file must be imported into a spreadsheet, such as Excel or Google Spreadsheet. With this export, you will have all the information of the tokens and work items for all or a selection of your processes. Do your selection and click on Confirm to launch your export. For security reasons, the links to download the data are available for a fixed period for all types of export. For performance reasons, files that contain more than 50,000 lines are generated overnight. If you create several exports of more than 50,000 lines, these exports will be done one by one. This follows the same logic for files with less than 50,000 lines. The system creates two different queues, one for files less than or equal to 50,000 lines and one for files greater than 50,000 lines. You have access to the history of requests of the other users. You can download and delete only your own requests. You will receive a notification and an email informing you that the file containing the export data is available. You can click download to get the file. The export is made up of two files. There is a file with the work item information. There is also a file containing token information. This file will contain subtoken data in the case, for example, of a parallel or inclusive gateway. These files use a specific view of database replication for each process. We will cover how to access existing views later in the video. You will find all the information related to your work items as well as the fields of your forms. You will have the same level of detail if your work items split into different subtokens during your process. Click the plus button to generate a new export, then choose the dump option. This file can be used to restore a MySQL database and be used in a BI tool to analyze the data. This export provides all data and views for all processes. Click on confirm to get the download link. As for the CSV file, the link is valid for a specific period and is available in the list of requests. Go to the Tools tab. Enable automatic dump export.
configure your export by providing your endpoint information. With this method, the system will automatically export all your process data every day and drop the dump file in the configured endpoint. You can generate the sending of the data without waiting for the daily generation by clicking on Force Run. You can have more information on the existing views in the database associated with your environment by clicking on View Schema. This screen displays all the views. For information, a view is an SQL query that defines a virtual table. There is a work item and token level view for each process. We can find these two views for the process whose data we exported previously. This screen then allows you to see the structure of a particular view. You can see the different existing columns. You can see their name and type. You can also find out if one of the columns is a primary key for this view, and if it allows, no. You have this information for all the columns in this view. You also have access to views that provide information about your environment. We will show some examples. There is a view with information about the processes. There is also a view regarding process categories. You can find information about different records, such as people. The goal is to show what information is available and how it is structured. After consulting the view schema, you can then click Query to find specific information by performing in SQL Query. Several important information before showing you how to search for information. First, this type of query requires knowledge of SQL language. Second, you can only use consultation type queries. Third, as you have noticed, the schema shows the views and not the existing tables. Views are created and maintained by our team, while table information can be modified. It is therefore important to only use views during your various queries. I now want to have the information regarding the work items in progress for the customer service process. I create the SQL query by choosing the view that contains this information and the desired condition. We can also restrict the columns displayed. We can search for other information that exists in this environment. For example, we will use the V process view to display only existing processes. We can also refine the search by showing only automated published processes. We will now search for existing process categories in our environment using the V process category view. Finally, 
we will use the V person view to find out which people are active in the people record. We can display only columns with information that interests us. Warning, you can delete the replication of the database by clicking on Remove All or Rebuild it by clicking on Rebuild. We advise you to use these features with caution. Database replication is updated daily. You also have the option to update it manually. This is necessary, for example, when you want to export data from a process that has been modified. Click Compile All Views to update all database replication. You can update a specific process. Open this process in the Process Editor, go to the Actions tab, and click on Compile View. This feature is available for users who have an administrator role. You can also create a custom role that grants access to this feature. Go to the Users and Authorization page and go to the Roles tab. When you create or edit a role, you just need to click on Allow Export Data. Once the role has been created and associated with a user, the person concerned will be able to find this functionality in the list of tasks in the workspace. The Data Export feature is available here.